Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be sitting down and filming. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season and New Year's. If you watched my videos in the past, I talked about how I've been having a lot of trouble finding my skin tone in foundation. So I don't know if I just never noticed how olive skin toned I was or if I just became more olive as I aged, I have no idea. But lately I've noticed how, like I said before, literally green my skin is. Um, and so I've been kind of on the hunt to find an olive skin toned foundation. And that's a very hard thing to do when you're very fair. A lot of the olive skin toned foundations I feel like start at like light to medium sometimes not even light at all like medium to deeper skin tones and then they'll finally like have an olive shade so i'm obviously very fair especially here in the winter time and so it was basically impossible i feel like to find an olive like a fair olive skin tone foundation um so i originally got this one it's the smashbox one and this is how it came in the mail <laughs> It literally like is, like, I went, it went through something in the mail um, and the edge is literally like knocked off the glass, but the product is still intact so we're going to use it. But I originally um, purchased this one because it was the only foundation I could find at Ulta that had a fair olive tone in foundation. So I'm excited to try this, but then About Face by Halsey came out with their new foundation and I've been hearing really good things about it. Specifically a friend of mine that works at Ulta with me um, loves it and there is a fair olive tone in the new foundation. Um, since this is a new product I figured I'd just kind of like more excited about it so I wanted to try this one first. So I'll definitely try the Smashbox one here soon but today I want to try the About Face one. Um, so yeah, I've heard nothing but good things. So we're going to try that today and just get ready with it, try it out. And then I'm, everything else that I'm using is going to be very normal to what I've been using every single day. Um, cause obviously I know how those products perform. And so, you know, I'm only going to do one like newer thing today so we can really test out the foundation and see how my normal things wear on top of it and mix with it. So let's go ahead and try this and see if I finally found like my perfect match. This is an F2 olive. I think it's the fairest shade of olive that they have. And I think they have like a light olive shade as well, but that one looked too deep for me. So this is the Performer from About Face Skin Focus Foundation it says. Coverage meets skincare in this skin optimizing foundation formulated with powerful ingredients like blue agave, winter green, and chlorella, known to help hydrate, balance, and smooth skin. Buildable, breathable, medium coverage delivers a long wear, second skin finish. Vegan and cleanly, cleanly formulated. Okay, so, and this is only $22. I don't remember how much the Smashbox one was, but definitely more expensive than that. This is basically like a drugstore priced foundation, so that's amazing if it's really good. Um, 22 bucks, plus my discount at Ulta, so we're winning. Um, okay, so it has a doe foot applicator, which is kind of like, I mean, I think with for ease, I think I like it. So I'm just going to put very thin layers. Normally, I've just only been really using brushes for my foundation. I don't normally really use a beauty blender, lately at least. Um, wow. I'm a little like speechless. Do you see that glow? It's like beautiful. And how I just put it out. Yeah, I mean, literally is exactly what it said it was gonna be. 
very very skin like like healthy skin like glowy hydrated skin which is not really like my skin right now it's very very dry um but blends out so nice i just did like a little bit more my nose is always red so just a little bit more there it's so pretty and it feels like nothing is your twiggy out there this is twiggy by the way did i get a third cat yes <laughs> yes i did a lot has happened since i last filmed um yeah i mean if it stays this way if it wears like this new favorite hands down and it literally matches i mean i would say my neck even has even more green in it like especially in this natural light i literally just have the window open like the shades open what are you doing but this is definitely the closest i've ever gotten okay so basically just did a light layer and then added a little bit more around my nose pretty much and then covered up a couple like blemishes that's really really pretty so i'm gonna wear it throughout the day too got some things to do today i'm gonna be out and about for a little bit i don't really know what's going on with my hair but <clears throat> so we're gonna wear it um but i want to do the rest of my makeup and we'll just chill so i don't really think i want to do concealer though because i just want to see like the coverage i'm not gonna just i'm not gonna put any more like coverage products on i just kind of want this to live on my skin all day. um so i'm gonna take my normal nars cream blush because again i know exactly how this performs pretty much I have this one in the lightest shade, of course. Look at how light I am. <laughs> and warm the cheeks up. And my forehead. And then I'm just going to set that with the Laura Mercier powder. I've been using the talc free version, the blurring one. And dipping a little puff in. And I'm just going to do under the eyes. And on top of the lids. And that's literally like the only place I really crease. And then I also just want to like leave a lot of the space without any powder. So that we can see how it wears without it. It's a very thin foundation again. So like it's not like it feels like it needs a lot of setting. And a little around the nose. And what's left over I'm just like patting it. Get shiny into my eyebrows, but I mean, very, very light handed. So, I'd love to kind of make this a series too and try fair olive skin tones because I know I'm not the only one out there. So, I would love to keep trying them. So, definitely send me recommendations if you know of foundations that have a fair olive tone foundation. I would absolutely love to try them all. I need options, you know? Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's just a pillow top blush. Oh, that was kind of a lot. But I really like this color. And I love blush. <laughs> I'm going to take my Ilia bronzer and just do a little bit on my lids. Just do this every day. And I've actually hit pan on this bronzer. I honestly don't know if I've ever hit pan. Ever really on anything that's how much i like that bronzer i'm gonna put just some brow gel through my brows the merit brow gel and it's pretty much gone at this point i want to try i think the kosas brow gel next speaking of olive skin tones they added more shades to their concealer that's super popular and i used to use that concealer and i liked it but i know they now have an olive undertone 
available too. So I have to try that. I'm at this point in my life too that I'm like, all I want to do is just embrace what I have. Like, and I'm learning as much as it's been hard to match my skin tone perfectly. I, I love it and I want to embrace it. So like I'm ready to use all of the things that could possibly match me. Because I don't want to cover and I don't want to wear a foundation that's not my skin tone and bring it down my neck so it blends. Like no, I want to match it and embrace it. And that's just how I'm feeling lately. And about a lot of things in general. I've been feeling some certain ways in general about beauty and specifically aging and working in the beauty industry and all of that that we could definitely I feel like sit down and talk about that too at some point but at a time where like I really want to embrace myself and what I look like it's hard working in an environment where it feels like everyone else, not everyone else, but a lot of people are doing the opposite. I don't really know what I was saying. My flash drive was running out of room and I was so confused because I was like, I thought I deleted my videos every time I like took them off, every time I like uploaded them or exported them. I thought that I always deleted them, but so I was like, what? But I didn't last time, so. <laughs> I don't really know what I was fully saying, but it just feels like I feel like I'm at an opposite way of what I have to like an opposite mindset of what I have to deal with every day I think all in all and so I would love to sit down and talk about that at some point um, and how I've been feeling um, in regards to beauty makeup society being a woman <laughs> um and just what i see every day working in beauty but this is the tart tartlet tubing mascara which is the first mascara i've ever used that was tubing i decently like it i don't love wands that are like this I like my big like fluffy volumizing wands I feel like. I do sometimes feel like I need a little like lash comb. Cause it definitely doesn't separate your lashes at all. It has such short little nubs on it. So I start putting layers on and starts getting kind of clumpy but it's okay i want to try the tower 28 mascara i want to try i want to try brown mascara there's also like a green mascara that we have at ulta i think it's just from like l'oreal i think it's actually like the lash paradise mascara that's super popular and i think it's just in the color green i thought that would be fun to try but there's so much to try out there, so we'll see. Totally forgot to press record after going and getting my lip color. So I just used the Ulta Beauty little crayon. I don't know if it really goes with the vibe today. But honestly, I'm going and running errands and um, might not even really have it on for that long. Um, but it does kind of match like this little flower in my sweater. Okay. I'm actually going to take my um, new passport photo today too. We're going to Cancun in November for a wedding. And I looked at my passport and it's expiring by then. So I had to, I had to like go through and fill out a form and everything and have to mail it in and but all I need to do the only thing that's left to do is take my little two by two inch um photo so I'm gonna try to get that done today finally it's been on my list for a while but so far so good yeah it's looking really good and it feels so light on the skin I'm gonna do a little wear test here too um I'll check in after 
all the things. So I'll see you guys in a couple hours and we'll check in. Okay, it's much, much lighter. I think it's almost 10, 9.40. Um, I think I filmed at like 11 or noon. So I have this, I've had this on for like 10 or more hours and no complaints. I'm just oily. I could um, powder a little bit, but this happens pretty much with every foundation. I just get oily throughout the day. And also I didn't um, powder that much in the first place either. So obviously I could set it more in the beginning um, and that might help throughout the day, but I am not mad at all. And it's not like getting weird or funky. Obviously like my redness is starting to come through my nose. like. I mean, I've been touching my face, edging my face, but it's not getting like curdly or rubbing anywhere or like looking weird anyway, anywhere. So I'm impressed. I feel like the real test will be tomorrow I'm gonna wear it to work um, for a full shift. And the lights there are obviously like super intense and bright. And I always feel like my makeup looks better like at home or in natural light. Or really anywhere but work because of how bright all those lights are and they're very like cool fluorescent lights so I definitely like see more when I'm at work and how like a foundation performs when I'm there we'll see I'll obviously keep you updated keep wearing it keep trying it but I mean no complaints that is all I have for you guys today thank you so much for watching joining me if you know of any other fair olive toned foundations concealers anything let me know so i can try them and i hear a train coming so i'm gonna say good night thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video and i will see you next time bye mm -hmm.